Hey everyone, for today's video, we'll be taking a look at a set of gaming earbuds. You saw that right, Cooler Master does make audio products as well. We have here today the Cooler Master MH710 Gaming Earbuds. Let's check it out to see if it's any good. Now you'd be forgiven if your first reaction is surprised upon learning that Cooler Master actually does make audio products among other PC peripherals too. After all, if you're tuned into the DIY PC scene, they're known first and foremost for their CPU coolers and PC cases. So to many, the fact that the brand does produce other categories of products is a pretty surprising revelation. With that, the packaging is pretty much par for the course for a Cooler Master product, with a black and purple color scheme that is pretty much in line with Cooler Master's brand identity. Moving over to the rear, we get the usual summary of specs for the MH710, We'll run through these specs in depth later on in this video. The box has a lid that opens up to showcase its contents and is held in place by magnets. I've got to say, the box does feel pretty premium. With that, let's take a look at what's included with the earbuds. Right, let's set aside the earbuds for the moment so that we can focus our attention on the accessories that Cooler Masters included with the MH710. First up, we get a round carrying case in black with purple trim, and it also has a minimalist rendition of the Cooler Master logo right here. Opening it right up, we get a 3.5mm splitter cable that allows end users to connect the earbuds to a PC that has both a 3.5mm audio out jack and microphone in jack. We also get an airplane headphone adapter that allows you to use the MH710 onboard planes that still use the legacy dual 3.5mm audio jacks for the in-flight entertainment systems. Apart from this, we get two additional pairs of ear tips of different sizes as well as a 3.5mm jack to USB Type-C adapter cable that is perfect for use on smartphones that come with a USB Type-C port and no 3.5mm audio jack. Also included within the box are a set of quick start and warranty information leaflets. All in all, Cooler Masters included quite a fair bit of kit with the MH710, which is a plus point for sure. With that, here's a quick lowdown on the specs of the MH710. We've got 10mm neodymium drivers with a frequency response of between 20Hz to 20,000Hz and an impedance of 16 ohms. And Cooler Masters also included an inline microphone of the omnidirectional type, as well as inline controls too, that allow you to say, switch between music tracks, pick up and hang up calls when using the MH710 with a smartphone, and so on. On to the aesthetics and build quality of the earbuds. Cooler Master has gone for a black and gunmetal grey colour scheme, where the casing of the earbuds is made of metal and fused and looks pretty good in my opinion. For a splash of colour, we've got the Cooler Master logo in purple at the end of both earbuds, where you'll notice that the logos are printed on physical buttons that allow end users to toggle between two preset audio profiles, a feature that Cooler Master calls Focus FX 2.0. More on that later on in this video. The cable for the MH710, as you can see, sports a braided design with a fine weave that feels pretty premium. On the cable for the right earbud is an inline remote control that houses a single button as well as the built-in microphone for the earbuds. And moving further down, you'll notice that the earbuds do not come with adjustable keepers. For those of you wondering, the MH710 has an angled 3.5mm audio jack that is made of rubber as you can see on the screen. Now in terms of usage comfort, I played some games for about an hour or so to put the earbuds through its paces and I'm happy to report that they were comfortable to use, at least for me, where I found the medium-sized ear tips suited me best. Moving on to audio features, Cooler Masters included what it calls Focus FX 2.0 technology with the earbuds, which are basically two preset audio profiles depending on your intended use case, where clicking on the buttons on both ends of the earbuds will allow you to toggle between a game mode as well as a music slash movie mode. 
As per this capture from the Cooler Master website, the music slash movie mode bumps up the bass pretty significantly as compared to the game mode. Now I know, audio preferences are pretty subjective, but I'd use these earbuds on the music slash movie mode, where the MH710 proved to be a pretty bassy set of earbuds that offered good oomph, at least to my non-audiophilic ears, be it for gaming or listening to music. In terms of microphone quality, I'm recording the audio for this segment of the video using the built-in microphone of the MH710 without any post-processing. And as you can tell, the audio quality is pretty decent, where it'll definitely get the job done for sure when you're, say, gaming casually with friends or even taking calls on your PC for work purposes. All in all, the Cooler Master MH710 is a decent pair of earbuds at its price bracket, where I really like its metal construction and braided cable design. The audio and microphone quality is decent too, and given that the MH710s have been on the market for some years now, I'd say that they've held up pretty well against the test of time. As of mid-December 2022, the MH710 can be purchased for around 49 Singapore dollars from online and offline retailers in Singapore. With that, thank you so much for watching, hit the like button and get subscribed if you've enjoyed this video, and I'll catch you guys around the next time.